Hi everyone, Project Pig here. Today we're going to talk about planning. We put so much time and effort into it, but why do it? Well, we can sit back and relax and take it easy. Because you know what? It'll all come out in the wash. There'll be swings and roundabouts along the way, but you know, we will win some and we'll lose some. It'll all work out in the end, right? Hold on, wait a moment. If you're getting married, would you just leave your big day to chance? I don't think so. Going on a holiday of a lifetime, would you risk missing out on some of the highlights? Probably not. Mm, let's take a moment to think about this. Planning allows us to identify key events and activities required to achieve our objectives. It enables us to logically sequence and link where dependencies occur. It helps to identify when activities need to take place, which ones have critical timing and which do not. The resources required to support the plan, could be material or people, can be allocated to activities too. That's pretty cool, right? Before we go any further, please don't forget to subscribe. It's free and easy. Just press the subscribe button below. Why not give us a like or maybe share with others? By the way, did you know about our parent site projectpointhub.com and sister site projectpointblog.com where you can connect with other professionals, graduates, students alike and utilize the many great resources available to support your P3M journey. Back to planning. Planning can be in many forms. It could be post-it notes on a whiteboard. It's such a simple but effective way of capturing and identifying activities and testing those dependencies ahead of formal planning exercise. It could be as formal documents, things like a project management plan, project controls plan, or maybe business cases, scoping documents. These are great ways to summarize project details and formalize explicitly how the project will be managed and provide the clarity required for success. When we think about planning, the first thing that generally springs to mind is a Gantt chart, that formal project execution plan. Fantastic visual tool and can be as complex or as simple as you need it to be, from level zero right down linking in resources required to deliver the plan and identifying those dependencies all together in one place. So this means I can prioritize activities, sequence events, control budgets, manage my resources and identify those risks. So back to the question, why plan? It's over to you.